My name is Stephen Thomas. I am the private lands wildlife habitat biologist for the East Tennessee Region 4 area. Uh, one of the primary goals we try to reach with uh, individuals is to take the landowners from the landowner stage to the land manager stage. And one of the primary, primary ways we do that um, is working with the NRCS in a cooperative agreement. Um, I work out of Knoxville and cover the East Tennessee area. So we primarily work with them on farm bill programs to promote different avenues of farm and wildlife habitat. And uh, one of those things that we try to really promote uh, is to, to restore, enhance, or create uh, rare declining habitats that we have in the state of Tennessee. One of those being early successional habitat. So this was switchgrass, big blue stem, and Indian grass, right? Yeah. I cut down the switchgrass ratio just because it's not as palatable for the cows, and I heard that that has a little bit more tendency to take over the others. About a year. So we've had the the home, or I guess the farm now, for pushing three years, but have actually only lived on it for about seven months. Um, you know, I think that everybody comes to a point in their life, especially when once children are involved, uh, figuring out kind of what their life philosophy is and what they want to leave behind for their children. Uh, so for us, a big part of it was exposing the kids to um, where food comes from, you know, the importance of life and death and how you can't have one without the other, uh, the responsibility that inherently comes along with raising livestock or animals and taking care of trees. The Short Leaf Pine Initiative is, a, is another area that we tried to, uh, to assist and address on this property. Uh, Short Leaf Pine is the native pine of Tennessee and really of the southeast along with Longleaf Pine and a couple others. But as far as Tennessee goes, uh, there's a special initiative called the Short Leaf Pine Initiative and that initiative is based on trying to get new seedlings on the ground for the next generation because what we have right now you have areas and properties that have old shortleaf pine, but you're not finding the regeneration on those properties to make sure that we have them here in the future from a genetic variability standpoint. So on this property, uh, we worked with the landowner and he had a this side slope that was previously grazed by cattle and it had some erosional issues on it. And he had no plans to bring cattle back on this side slope, so we kind of put two and two together and decided, you know, well, let's plant shortleaf pine here and then we're kind of addressing two resource concerns of the erosional issues and then we're restoring a species uh, of special initiative in shortleaf pine that that is a benefit from a, an aesthetic standpoint and a wildlife standpoint so as you can see we've got a shortleaf pine seedling right here that was planted uh, this past february and you can see it's green seems to be doing pretty well and i believe these were planted on a, a 12 by 12 spacing um, so hopefully come Come next winter and fall, you know, hopefully this seedling will be, you know, two, three, four foot tall. Through the help of TWRA and NRCS, um, got exposed to a lot of different stuff, and it really seemed to match up with, you know, what was important to me. Uh, polyculture, you know, having a place for everything. Uh, we didn't set out just to do beef cattle or chickens, but rather have as many different species um, as we could, and that, that included wildlife as well. I know sometimes we we get this image in our head that the two are in competition with each other when I think that there's actually a lot of you know harmony that happens there whether it's birds eating insects that are you know naturally um, bad for fruit trees or whatever else and so um, they've really enabled me to do things that would have one I might not have been able, able to do at all or more importantly in a timely fashion to be able to actually enjoy it and start start implementing practices that improve you know what was already here so if landowners have any interest in uh, improving wildlife habitat on their property or addressing resource concerns uh, I myself and there's three other wildlife habitat biologists throughout the state of Tennessee um, you can get on tn.gov and navigate to a TWA website visit the habitat conservation area of the web page and you'll find information on uh, the wildlife habitat biologist um, your area uh, nuisance issues or some of your local forestry experts that can assist the forest management side of things or contact your local uh, NRCS area office uh, most every other county almost every other county has a, a district office for NRCS and contact them and then they can work through us and collaborate and uh, work together to get to improve the habitat for Tennessee